I have this script that is assigned to an empty game object. Inside the script, I will define a float variable and four integer variables with these names due to the methods we are going to apply. For the float variable, I define a range between minus 1.5 and 1.5 so that in the inspector, the variable looks like a slider. Let's convert this float to int inside the update method to see the result in real time. A very easy way to convert float to int is by performing a type casting. We can make the integer variable equal to the float variable by adding the int keyword between parentheses before the float variable. With this method, we will cut the decimals and keep the integer part of the float. Another way to convert float to int is by using math. We are going to see three different functions from the mathf class. The seal function, the floor function, and the round function. We pass the float variable as parameter and assign each function to the corresponding int variable. Hit play, analyze the different results, and choose the one that fits you the best. Subscribe to the channel so that we see each other again in the next video.